so in front of us we have a small chart work that is we have divided it based on the component of food the important nutrient and what are the sources like uh, for example fish what does the fish contain so that we can eat what nutrient does the fish contain and what is the function of this proteins and its sources so let us see each and every one in detail so first we are going to see the components of food the components in nutrients its sources from where we can get these components and what is the function of each and every component so the first is your proteins so talking about proteins so proteins is very essential we need to consume food that contains proteins so the first one is proteins and what are the sources so you need to consume pulses fish cheese eggs and beans so these these are the food items or these are the sources that contain the essential nutrient protein it is always good to consume one or two eggs a day or depending on the doctor's advice but as young children it is always good to consume minimum of 2 to 3 eggs but it needs it should not be eaten on an empty stomach we need to consume it with some other food so proteins are found in pulses fish cheese eggs and beans seafood is always very healthy so the more seafood we consume the more healthier we live so what does protein do so protein is very important because it helps us to grow so as we grow in age we need to grow in size also so we need to grow taller according to our age we need to grow taller so proteins the first important component is protein it is found in pulses fish cheese eggs and beans green leafy vegetables and the function is it helps us to grow next component is your carbohydrates so what food contains carbohydrates the sources are rice wheat fruit juices potatoes and your cereals so all these food items contain carbohydrates that is your rice wheat fruit juices potatoes and your cereals and what is the function of carbohydrates the carbohydrates give us energy to do work so in this case we need a lot of energy because by playing or running or do doing work we drain out all the energy that is accumulated in our body for this purpose we need to consume carbohydrates because they give us the energy the stamina to do work so the next important component is your carbohydrates and the sources are rice wheat fruit juices potatoes and your cereals and what do they do they give us energy to do work moving on to the next component is your fats so what are the sources in which food do you find fats so we need to consume meat nuts like your cashew nuts your almonds all that contain a lot of fats butter oil and ghee but these food items should be taken in the correct amount and not exceed the maximum so the fats so the sources are your meat nuts butter oil and ghee and what is the function of the nuts uh, of the fats is they give us energy to do work and keep our body warm especially people in the cold regions they need to consume a lot of fats 
because it helps them to fight the bitter cold over there. So the next important or essential nutrient is fats and the sources are meat, nuts, butter, oil and ghee. The function is it gives us energy to do work and helps to keep our body warm. Moving on to the next important component or nutrient is your minerals and the sources are milk, curd, cheese, green leafy vegetables, whole grains, beans and your dairy products. Dairy products is your milk and milk based products. So the next component is minerals and the sources are milk, curd, cheese, green leafy vegetables, whole grains, beans, dairy products. And what are the functions of the minerals? It is required for the formation of healthy bones, blood and teeth. So we need as we grow in age, we need to have a lot of minerals that is in our body because it gives our bones the needed calcium and calcium is very important for us as children. So the next important component is minerals. The sources are milk, curd, cheese, green leafy vegetables, old grains, beans and your dairy products. The function is it is required for the formation of healthy bones, blood and teeth. So calcium in the bones and blood is very essential for our body. Moving on to the next component is your vitamins. The sources are green vegetables, fruits and your sprouts. And the function of vitamins is helps our body to fight disease. So if we have vitamins, these vitamins enable us or gives us the uh, immunity to fight against diseases and we don't get or catch any disease very fast. So these are the important components, its sources and function. So the first is your proteins. The sources are pulses, fish, cheese, eggs and beans. The function is it helps us to grow. The next component is your carbohydrates. The sources are rice, wheat, fruit juices, potatoes and cereals. The functions are it gives us energy to do work. The next component is fats. The sources are meat, nuts, butter, oil and ghee. And the function is it gives us energy to do work and keeps our body warm. The next important component is your minerals. The sources are milk, curd, cheese, green leafy vegetables, old grains, beans and your dairy products. And the function is it is required for the formation of healthy bones, blood and teeth. The next component is vitamins and the sources are green vegetables, fruits and sprouts. The function, it helps our body to fight disease. So let us move on to the next two components that are needed for our body. Moving on to the next component is your water. So water we know, it's a water that we consume, we drink. The function of water is it helps our body to stay healthy. We need most of the, our body is com consumed composed of is composed of water so we need to drink a lot of water to keep our body and skin hydrated so the next essential component is water and the function it helps our body to stay healthy and the next is your roughage the sources are fruits and vegetables with the peel or the skin without some of us have the habit of removing the skin and consuming only the fruit 
but it's always good to consume a fruit with its skin or peel after washing it nicely. Oats, barley, cereals, pulses and your whole grains. The function it helps in removing waste material from our body in the form of stool. So the function of this roughage is helps to remove things that are waste in our body that is of no use and it comes out in the form of stool. So these are the next two important essential components. So the first is water and the function it helps our body to stay healthy. The next component is your roughage. The sources are fruits and vegetables with the peel or skin, oats, barley, cereals, pulses and your whole grains. The function it helps in removing waste material from our body in the form of stool. So, so long we discussed about the essential nutrients or the components, its sources and its functions. So each and every nutrient contributes in some way or the other for our growth and healthy living. So it is always advisable to consume all these nutrients in small quantities every day. That is your carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, roughage and your water.